good evening students today we have to discuss model number 5 typical transmission and distribution system which is mainly used to generate the electrical power and distribute the electrical power it is one of the important concept in model number 5 before going to the actual transmission and distribution of electrical power we have to think very much analogous to the power flow concept how the water flow as shown in the both diagrams one diagram left side water flow concept right side electrical power flow concept both are analogous you can observe how water flows in general high pressure of water that is a bigger size of the pipe which is having the high pressure of uh, water then it is goes to the low pressure pipelines then it is go to the consumer house still low pressure pipelines this is the flow of concept which is same or water can flow from high level to low level this is very much to understand power flow concept electrical power generated in generating station which is of l1 kv in generating station only the generated electrical power is boosted to transmit the economic economic conditions we can increase the voltage level l1 kv to 220 kv this is 220 kv is increased voltage due to economic considerations it is very much required then after that generated 220 kv electrical energy can reach to the power with reducing voltage levels which is analogous to uh, reducing pressure through the pipelines so here the pipelines analogous to transformers number of transformers are used that is of step down only one transformer is used to increase the voltage in substation after that number of transformers are required it may be in receiving station or it may be in distribution station all transformers are reduces the voltage 220 to 110 110 to 33 33 to l1 kv l1 kv to 440 volts this is very much analogous to water flow concept dear friends try to understand you can see in the actual block diagram or it is also referred as flow diagram single line diagrams you can see there first block generating station the generating stations are installed where the energy resources are available it may be hydro it may be coal it may be thermal it may be nuclear any type of resources their power generating stations are installed their power is generated for example we can take hydro in hydro electric power plant high head of water strikes on the turbine hydro electric turbine is coupled with alternator three phase alternator when the turbine rotates coupled alternate also rotates so alternator can generate three phase ac voltage nearby the generating station step up transformer is there one alternator can generate l1 kv then generated l1 kv voltage is given to step up transformer in generating station it is increased to 220 kv then it is known as step up transformer then 220 kv blue lines that is double transmission lines are there the generated 220 kv power can be transmitted to receiving station what you are observing blue lines on the transmission towers then number of transformers are coming sir here one in receiving station one in substation voltage level can be goes on reducing up to the consumer house this we have to understand same explanation may be explained with single line diagram in examination you can refer 
and practice and try to write so the figure shows typical transmission and distribution scheme with transformers so similar the generating station generating station is installed near to the energy resources where hydro is there where nuclear is there one generator that is one three phase alternator can generate l1 kv as per the design of alternator then l1 kv voltage is boosted in generating station by the help of step up transformer so it may be increased voltage level from l1 kv to 220 kv sir so this happens in generating station then typical transmission and distribution mainly consist four parts number 1 primary transmission number 2 secondary transmission number 3 primary distribution number 4 secondary distribution try to understand this whole system is called power system electrical power system it may be starting with generation primary transmission secondary transmission primary distribution and secondary distribution dear friends you practice or you can use block diagram in place of transformers but you have to mention the which type of transformer with voltage rating that's all first you write what are the components you make the components of the typical power system number 1 generating station number 2 uh, primary transmission number 3 secondary transmission number 4 primary distribution number 5 secondary distribution first you write the components of power system then try to explain each one number 1 generating station in generating stations it consists three phase alternators that means ac generators are coupled with respective turbines in example in hydroelectric power station hydroelectric power generating system is there hydraulic turbines are there then high head of water from the dam high head of water strikes on turbine as the turbine rotates connected three phase alternator also rotates three phase alternator may be of two types it may be rotating magnetic field or stationary magnetic field it is already well known hence as the turbine rotates coupled three phase alternator rotates dear friends then it can generate maximum l1 kv one machine can generate l1 kv number of alternators are connected in parallel as per design of that power station for example in all metric dam powerhouse there are six generators are running which are connected in parallel of 290 megawatt is the same procedure may be continues as per the design of their capacity of power station next number 2 primary transmission the generated voltage from the generating station is l1 kv then it is boosted to the 220 kv then electrical power is transmitted on three phase transmission lines three phase transmission lines that is from 220 kv because voltage is increased in generating station itself by the help of step up transformer this generated 220 kv is routed on the transmission lines these transmission line towers or existing out outskirts of the city outside of the city lines and it routes it routes up to the receiving station this transmission lines from generating station to the receiving station is called primary transmission line these are generally three phase three wire system after that go for next third component secondary transmission sir i already told after generation number of transformers 
are connected only one transformer used in generating station it increases the voltage level then number of transformers are used to reduce the voltage level finally to reach the consumers then what is the root of the transmission line is called secondary transmission what is the secondary transmission it is the exists transmission line from receiving station to substation receiving station to substation the transmission lines are referred as secondary transmission line in the substation again it consists step down transformer the connected 220 kv it is reduced to 33 kv or 66 kv as per th their design getting the idea again it is also three power three phase ac system hence neutral is not used here neutral is not used then coming to the next primary distribution these are also transmission lines primary distribution are the transmission lines from substation to uh, distribution station substation to distribution station these are also having very step down already earlier it is 33 kv then these transformers are reduces the voltage level for 33 kv to 11 kv or 6.6 kv now if large industries are interested with their own switchgear principle then the supply may be permitted from the primary distribution to large power consumers next goes to the secondary distribution system friends it is existing the transmission lines from distribution station to local distribution local distribution centers in local distribution that is almost distribution transformers these distribution transformers are used nearer to the consumer premises you may observe in every street from this we are supplying power to again poles transmission poles from the poles we are connecting to houses through the surface lines it is observed hence these distribution transformers are used to reduce the voltage level again 11 kv or 6.6 kv to three phase 440 volts consumers or single phase uh, 240 volt system that means here we can use secondary of distribution transformer is three phase four wire ac system that means along with three lines neutral wire is also used because the consumers are using three phase supply or the consumers may demand single phase ac supply as per the consumers requirement we have to supply the power try to understand thank you to one and all